Learning AI and ML all by yourself is so much harder. Unlike going to college where everything is structured, learning by yourself feels very uncertain. You don't know if what you're learning is useful or not. You don't know if you can even stay motivated to finish the courses. You're always worried about something new coming up in this field. Believe me, that's exactly how I used to feel. And you feel like everyone else knows about these new algorithms and machine learning models, and it makes you think, Oh, I'm so behind in life compared to the rest of them. There's five real challenges here, and I mean real challenges, fundamental challenges that nobody is talking about. Yes, it may be challenging to find the right resources, to learn the math behind the machine learning models, and also to learn how to code, but these are not fundamental challenges. These challenges you can overcome over a period of time with practice. For example, if you watch five videos about people presenting the roadmap to learn AI and ML, you will probably find all the right resources that you need and you can make a plan that's best for you. If you code regularly and you take up some math courses here and there, you will be able to get the basics of mathematics in machine learning and also you will be able to learn and practice and get better as a programmer. If you believe that you can overcome challenges like getting better at programming or learning the math for machine learning, do let me know in the comments below. Say I believe, that way I will know that a lot of you believe in yourselves. But there is something more sinister here, and you might never overcome these challenges and you may have to just learn to live with them. This experience of learning something on your own might just be the thing that you need to change your life. Not in terms of getting a good job or completing a project, but in terms of changing your habits, changing how you think. This experience of learning something on your own might just be the thing that you need to become more confident in life and more determined in life. The very first challenge has to do with what you do in your life apart from learning AI and machine learning. What other things do you do apart from learning? Do you have a day job? Do you go to school to learn something other than AI and ML? By the way, let me know in the comments below what you do apart from learning AI and ML. Like, what's your day job like? I'm curious to know more about you. For example, I work at a national lab here in the United States as a researcher, and my day job includes a lot of AI and machine learning. But apart from that, I also get to do other things that keeps me interested, which is why I really enjoy this job. Anyway, I'm sure we're all struggling with something in our lives, and that is why it's important to learn how to manage our time. My first advice in overcoming this challenge is to track your time. Remember the saying, anything that can be tracked can be improved. Observe where you lose most of your time. For me, it's mindlessly scrolling YouTube during the day. Obviously, when you know where most of your time is wasted, you can make changes appropriately. Another advice that I can give is usually time wasting activities have something of a trigger. I would eliminate that trigger entirely. Like most of my YouTube sessions is in the morning right when I'm having coffee. So I would go ahead and put my phone away completely and forget about it when I'm having coffee. And right after coffee, I can get started with doing other things that I need to do throughout the day. By the way, I'm still working on that. And if my wife is watching this, si cariño, I'm working on it. You know that. Love you. Now, the next challenge has to do something with our capacity to learn. We all reach a point where we feel like we've learned enough. Our brain is fatigued and we cannot learn anymore. And it's something similar to a burnout, but it's not entirely a burnout. More on that in another video. I'm wondering if you've experienced this. You sit throughout the day, try to learn something, and then you, when you learn it, you feel so tired. I don't know if you felt this. Do let me know in the comments below. Let's say you spent an entire day learning about neural networks and how it works. And the next day you feel like, oh, I need a break, I'm tired. Do it, take a break because breaks are really, really important to keep your motivation and energy levels high throughout this journey. But have a mechanism in place, that way you come back after the break and you don't feel demotivated to stop your journey entirely midway. Now, I don't know if there's a good way to deal with this, but what I do is I say, okay, my break's done, let me just spend five minutes trying to learn something, just five minutes. And the next thing you know, I sit, keep learning, Five minutes has passed and I lose track of time and I just keep going and going. And soon that five minutes turns into maybe an hour or two hours, which is great. Start small. I guess that's my best advice here. And that advice leads me to the next challenge. Challenge to remain consistent. This challenge might be interrelated with the challenges that I just mentioned earlier, 
but there is one important thing to know. You have to realize this is a long journey. You don't become an expert in learning something after you spend two days learning it. Simply recognizing this goes a long way. Commit yourself for the long haul. Stay in it to win it. It takes years of working on different projects to become an expert. And if you are looking for a job, it is not straightforward. I've made a video on something that might help you, but I will suggest you watch that at the end of this video. But yes, it's important to know that this is a long game and staying consistent goes a long way. The next challenge has to do with comparing yourself with others and paying too much attention to all the new algorithms that keep popping up almost every day. This will make you overwhelmed quickly. So what do you do to make sure that you don't pay so much attention to all the noise that's out there? Number one, realize that you don't have to be them. Like don't compare yourself with me. For example, instead ask, how can you learn from them? What can you learn from them? We all have coworkers who are more experienced and knowledgeable than us. So instead of comparing yourself to them and trying to get better than them, use them as a source of motivation. Talk to them more, learn from them, learn from their journey. If they are someone you follow on social media, connect with them because believe me, learning from people has the potential to accelerate your journey. People are sometimes the best resource you can have. So use that to your advantage. Okay, this can sound really wrong, but what I'm trying to say is don't harass them and try to give something in return. I think I can trust that you will find a fine line here. The last thing that I wanna to touch upon is probably the most important thing. And if you don't get this right, nothing else matters. When you're learning something hard and transitioning into this field, you need the right environment around you, especially when you're trying to do all of this all by yourself. Family is everything. You need their support. I'm so grateful for my family and I'm extremely lucky and I'm wholeheartedly thankful for them. So spend quality time with family. Work-life balance is so important and a lot of times people miss that caveat. If you have the positive energy around you in terms of family and friends, you will find that motivation to succeed. If you have negative energy around you, keep your distance. You can only worry about so many things at a time and you do not need that. You need the positive energy to do something impactful and in order to transition into AI and ML, you definitely need some support and energy. And talking about doing something more impactful, here's a video that I promised you that will help you do an impactful project in AI and ML instead of just some simple beginner level projects. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.